Salutations! Welcome to another episode of Fox Plays KSP, the 365 Day Challenge. And, um, well, I've left things till far, far, far too late, so, um, I'm not gonna have a whole lot of time to do my mission for today. So, without further ado, let's head to the launch pad. So, uh, this, uh, this mission was not actually intended to be this. I was gonna put up, um, <clears throat> something a little different. But uh, due to time constraints, uh, I'm just going to launch now and hope I make my deadline. Alright, here we go. So this is another um, Soyuz craft, as you can tell by the launcher. Um, I'm going to have to keep this video very, very short uh, to minimize upload time. But uh, we are ideally going to, to dock with our uh, Vega 2 uh, space station, which is... Uh, a representation of Salyut 7. Um, and I, mm, I misspoke in my previous uh, video when I was putting that station into orbit um, because it was not actually the first uh, station with multiple docking ports. Uh, that would be Salyut 6, but uh, Salyut 6 was only ever used... Um, basically, the, the two docking ports were there so that two Soyuz craft could dock at the same time. Um, or a Soyuz craft could be docked, and a Progress ca uh, unmanned cargo vehicle could dock at the same time and resupply the crew um, that was brought on the Soyuz. So, yeah, so, still um, going to be treating the uh, station in orbit as a Salyut 7 uh, replica, uh, or stand-in, you know, recreation, whatever. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so, considering that, this, uh, this mission is essentially, uh, the, uh, Soyuz T-5 mission, um, which was the, uh, the first crew sent to Soyuz 7, or, sorry, uh, Salyut 7. So, well, I, I think I'll, I'll, I'll keep the camera rolling up until we, uh, the booster separation, but, uh, given that this launcher has been pretty well proven, and I'll, I'll just give you a close-up here. Uh, it's pretty clear we're going to space, space today, so uh, I'll just, uh, I'll see you in orbit after booster set. Alright, here it is. Look at that. Very pretty. Look at that. Look at those. Boom. Alright, well, I'll see you in space. Okay, so we're coming right up on our last maneuver node. Um, I took the liberty of doing most of the maneuvering um, off camera, uh, just to keep things quick and simple. Alright, now this is going to be a, a, an interesting burn, because we're coming in awfully fast. Um, so you need to burn it six seconds. Alright, and we missed it. Alright, and miscalculated a bit. And we need to do a roll, get our solar panels lined up. Uh oh. Oh, that's not good at all. Uh. Alright, well, we are completely out of uh, liquid propellant. And we're burning at an alarming rate. Okay, well, well, we'll we'll deal with that. We'll turn ourselves around here. Okay. All right. So we need to translate.
this way. Oh no, I was braking. I didn't want to brake. Okay. Well, we have enough monopropellant to get there, and there should be enough monoprop on the station itself to transfer to the vehicle to deorbit it if we need to. Um, so there's that. And okay, and we need to translate that way and that way. And yes, my uh, my curse is misaligned again, but uh, but um, Sorry about this docking, it's all turned around. I'm going to switch to uh, orbital chase. There we go. That's what I'm going to do. All right. That's much better.
Boom! There it is. Oh, all right. Well, that's our mission for today. Uh, Soyuz T5 uh, docking with uh, Salyut 7. Um, I know it's been a bit of a bungled uh, mission today, but hopefully we will uh, we'll be back on track tomorrow. I just I left it till too late to really get started with this. Anyway, I've been Fox. This has been KSP. Thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. Um, hope to see you again next time. Take care.